today on Marvel. Jade has taken a DNA test to find the father of her baby before. You are not. Today she's back and she's testing not one man, three other guys. Don't nobody want to come on national TV with more than one guy. But I'm doing this for my son because my son deserves the best. He deserves everything. Chris doesn't believe he's her baby's father. And neither do these two brothers. What? What are we going to find out? We're going to find out. Will Jade find the father of her baby today? In the case of 16-month-old Jacory. Imagine if right after being told by your boyfriend that he doesn't love you, he was just using her for sex. <laughs> you find out you're pregnant. And now that same man denies being the father of your baby. And so does his sister. Will the DNA test end all of this drama or add to it? Matt? I want my kid right now. I want my baby right now. All of this drama and much, much more. What are you going to do when you find out that's your baby? One man, one wife, one mistress, and two paternity tests. I know my baby is his. She doesn't? Who knows what she knows? Tony. Oh, Tony. Oh. It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Jade. Welcome, Jade, back to the show. Now, now a few months ago, Jade came here convinced that her ex-boyfriend, John, was the father of her 16-month-old son, Ja'Cory. In fact, Jade was so convinced, she did the splits before the results came in. Wow. You and John date? Me and John dated for two years. We knew each oh, other for five, but we dated for two that years. Ain't my baby. He planned this baby. baby. Planned this baby. Planned this baby. When did he deny it? The day You're after crazy, I had him, he man. denied my baby. I, I, we ain't playing nothing. I was never in a relationship with Jay. We was friends with benefits. Let it be. Let it be. She delusional, right? You planned this baby, John. You planned this baby, John. Did you lay down with her? Yeah, go on, I hit it. Go. You hit it, and you planned it, and you got it. Oh. And we gonna prove today that it's yours. You wanna need prove that it's yours today? Oh, baby, this is the money. This is for you. This is for you, baby. John, you are not. Glad to help you. Because he's not the father. Jade says, Hearing that result was not only heartbreaking, but it forced her to confront a shameful past that she had been desperately trying to hide. Now, Jade has returned with not one, not two, but three other guys. <laughs> but, but she says one of these three is Ja'Cory's father. On the left is Chris, who into, until today, she had hoped was the dad. And then there are brothers, D and Ebo. First of all, I want to thank you for coming back because I knew it took a lot for you to come back because by coming back here, Jade, you're basically telling the world you were not living the life you wanted to live. No, I wasn't. I was, I was out in the streets. It was hard for me. I was, I mean, I, I went through a lot. And I always got put out. I had to go through stuff, but nobody can walk in my shoes. But I'm gonna be determined to find my father, my child. Father. Now, it's funny because when I was reading about you and reading about these guys last night, I'm reading about Chris. And until today, you were hoping that Chris would be the father. Yes, I was, but, but you know what? what? When what we happened? was at home, it was all good. It was gravy. It was, oh, I'm going to be there no matter what. But as soon as you get here, you want to be like these two other clowns, and you want to deny my baby, too. But it's cool. It's cool. All y'all good. All y'all good. You know, I've been there. I'm going to play mother and father to my child. I don't need them. I don't need none of them. None of them. You almost didn't come back. No, because it's a dark thing. Like, don't nobody want to come on national TV and say, oh, well, yeah, maybe I slept with more than one guy and got pregnant. But I got to deal with that. I'm doing this for my son because my son deserves the best. He deserves everything. That little boy deserves everything. Everything. 
Which one do you think looks like him? This head, that head, them eyes, that eyes, that nose, that nose. Boy, he looks like me. Look at this face, look at this face. He looks like me, though. He don't look like none of the bums. I'm good. Now, we have to say, the reason why you got here, the reason why you have three guys here, was not only were you seeing Chris around that time, you were with D and E Bone the same night. I was with D. That's the biggest, the worst mistake I ever made in my life. And I'm admitting to it. But now, but now, oh, y'all good. If y'all is today, I'm a fool today. Then one of y'all gonna be my baby spot. My baby spot. Bone and his brother D in a moment, but first, this is what Chris had to say. I'm Chris, and I'm the fourth man being tested for Jay Sandra Corey. When I seen Jay on the show, and John was proven not to be the father, I was shocked. I couldn't believe my eyes. Immediately, I contacted Jay and the show, because I believe I might be the father. When I spoke to Jay, she told me I might be the father. The problem? She didn't tell me two other guys could be a possibility. I wanted to be with Jay. I wanted to help raise the Corey. But nah, I think she don't know how to keep her legs closed. If the test proves Jaquari is mine, I'm gonna be a father to him. But if he's not, she can keep sleeping around and doing her do. Here's Chris. Chris, come on out. All this changed. I read about you. You said you wanted to step up and be a father to this child. I did until I found out it was two other dudes being tested. I didn't find out how I got here. Oh, well, no. I mean, but still, I'm doing it for my top. And you okay, know what I've been through, though. But you know what I've been through, though. But you know what I've Tell me if this is your child, you'll be in this child's life. Always. I, I don't want I you got there. another one, and I'm still taking there. her, and I'll take her. Want Meanwhile, you saw Jade on the show, didn't you? Yeah, I was watching the show, you know what I'm saying? My jaw dropped, you know, and then I felt bad. I'm like, dang, I don't, I don't want that boy growing up without a father. I didn't grow up without mine, so I said I'd step up if it's mine. But, and also, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Also, I told Jade, and we, I said, I'll still be with you, but if this is not my child, it's over. It's a wrap. It Roll can't on. be. I don't want to be with you. It's over now. It's over oh, now. It's over now. It's over now. Yeah. You think Jacory looks like you? A smidgen, not really. I mean, uh, let, let's let's take let's be real about it. My eyebrows thick, his anorexic. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the nose, maybe the nose. No, no, none no, of the lips. Don't disrespect don't. my child. Either okay. which Man. way it goes. Right. So Look, if it is your child, right. you disrespect right. me. By the way, buddy, okay. you gonna this take is care what, of it This too. is what D and E Bone had to say. Watch this. I'm Ebon. I'm the second guy being tested for Jay's baby, Jacory. I'm Ebon's brother, and I'm the third man being tested. And, and today, today we're, we're hoping, hoping that, that neither, neither of us is, is the dad. dad. Jay gets around, and there's no man in town that doesn't know who she is. That's why I wasn't shocked when she slept with my brother and me on the same night. I feel bad for the little boy. He should have paid for his mother's slutty ways, but that doesn't mean I want to be the father. I believe that the DNA test will clear my brother and me. And when it does, I wish her the best of luck. Because I know her search has just begun. Yeah, but on the other hand, why would two brothers sleep with the same girl on a night? Thank you! Here are Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! You think that looks like you? No, uh, uh, not so at all. You don't no, think so? No, 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 no. You got the big eyeball. Look at I'm, I'm chunky. Boy, look, I'm chunky. chunky. Yes, yeah, he's chunky, chunky this too. One. No, this is the nose, all that. That's 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 not me at that's all. That's not you. Not How about Mar you? Nothing. No, Mari, look at the eyebrows. Look, look, yeah, look at the eyebrows. No. But if it's all, no. y'all gonna take no. everything. If it's one, no. two, three, if it's one of y'all.
see you. Okay. Now. Now. He'll step up if he's the father. You do the same? Oh, yeah, I'm a man before anything, right. man. Right. You do the same, same thing, Marlon. I'm a man before anything. Hey, when you read these results, I want one of y'all to grow up, because you're all kids. You're uh, all kids. Yeah, all right. We're going to see. We're going to see. In the case of 16-month-old Jacory, the DNA results for all three men are coming up. We're going to find out. Will Jade find the father of her baby today? In the case of 16-month-old Jacory, Imagine if right after being told by your boyfriend that he doesn't love you, he was just using her for sex. You find out you're pregnant. And now that same man denies being the father of your baby. And so does his sister. Will the DNA test end all of this drama or add to it? Matt? I want my kid right now. I want my baby right now. It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Brandolin. Welcome Brandolin to the show. Now, when Brandolin was 16, she fell head over heels in love with a man named Matt. But then, one day, Matt broke Brandolin's heart when he admitted to her that not only was he not in love with her, but that he was, uh... He was just using her for sex. <laughs> the real shock came when Brandilyn then found out she was pregnant with her now nine-month-old son, Asher. <laughs> Matt completely denied that Asher is his son, and he's not alone, by the way. He's got some company. His older sister, Jessica, is here. She's convinced that Brandilyn <laughs> will be exposed. This psychotic girl, Brandilyn, has been obsessed with me since day one. All she lives for is to call me and bother me about taking care of her son. As Matt's older sister, it is my job to protect him against stalkers like Brandilyn. Ever since I met Brandilyn, I knew she was nothing but drama. Brandilyn can't seem to make up her mind whether or not I'm Asher's father. It seems like one week Brandilyn wants me in his life, and the next she doesn't. Brandilyn has been harassing our whole family. She goes all over Facebook spreading lies about her family, and I've had it. Braylon's trying to ride me all the way to the end with this baby, and that's just not going to happen. Right now, I'm just one DNA test away from getting rid of this crazy girl for good. If these results come back that this baby is not mad, I want her to stay the hell out of our life. Wow. You were pregnant. Where was he? He wasn't anywhere. He, he said some days he wanted to be there, some days he didn't. He was around when he was he wasn't drunk. How about drunk, when you had the it. baby? He came to the hospital four hours later, and I almost positive he was drunk. He was acting kind of slurry. He was drunk. He came to the hospital. So what does Jessica have to do with it? Jessica has nothing. To do. It's not her business. She doesn't even. I've met her one time. Everything to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's stuck up and nosy. She thinks she's so much better. Than everybody what? Oh, this now. Stuck up. The first time I met yeah, her, she quit, was complaining. Just quit calling her. She won't. She'll yeah. leave yeah. you alone if you yeah. leave her alone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know her. Matt, come on out. Here no. he is. No. That boy looks just like you. That's what she says. You what think, she tell said. me he doesn't That's look like you, Matt. Tell me he doesn't That's look like you. Wants. I don't want you to be the father. You're a deadbeat. You don't take yeah, care of the three-year-old. I don't want to be the father either. You don't take care of the three-year-old, Matt. I was giving you money. I didn't even know he was mine. I didn't give you nothing. I didn't give you nothing. I didn't give you nothing. I didn't buy no diapers for you. I didn't buy no diapers for you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I bought you. I don't matter if it was ten months or seven. What about okay, the first okay, Matt. Matt. Okay, Matt. How would you describe your relationship with her? It, a joke. A joke? A joke? I mean, she... A joke? She, a joke? No, a joke? She, like, she just a wants joke? me to be his dad no, because she's been obsessed deadbeat. with me since day one. I'm obsessed with you. You're since a deadbeat. Day You're one. a deadbeat. You, You're why a deadbeat. you keep calling me all the time? I don't call you all the time. You're a deadbeat. Why is your sister here? 
Because she's, she's got my bag. No she's matter nosy. what. My because she's nosy. Because she's always looking out for him. She's my nosy. sister. Good. She's nosy. I want to meet your sister. Here she is, Jessica. You're here, Jessica. So why is she lying? What is the deal here? What because do you she think? can't make up her mind. She doesn't know what she. One day it's mass. One day it's not. How do you know that? Man. You never talked to me. Every day I she never talked to you. I talked to my brother. Okay, I talked to my brother. Every day. I'm a liar. You lie. No, I'm a liar. You lie. I'm a liar. You make up your mind. Yeah, make up your mind. Stop telling me that it is, and then stop telling me that it's not. Stop telling me that it's not. Stop telling me that it's not. Stop telling Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jessica. Jessica. You called her a stalker? Really? She is a stalker. She, she is. is. 100%. Oh, she calls me. Call she calls all my family. She calls my brother. She calls Gwen. Well, listen, if you does listen, that, she'll call look, you. Does that look, does that look like your, your nephew? I don't have your number, Jessica. I mean, this is honestly the first time I've seen him, and I don't think so. If this is your child... Your family gonna acknowledge that, of right? Of course, of course we, we all acknowledge it. We just, just wanna know. know. And guess what? She won't allow so do I. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to nine-month-old Asher, Matt, you yeah. are not. <laughs> Glad to help you. We'll be I know who it is. You I do? <laughs> the wrong person? I want my baby. Huh? I want my baby. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know. Now, if you want it, if you want to give him a DNA test, we'll be glad to. All right? Okay. One man, one wife, one mistress, and two paternity tests. Tony's wife believes he's not the father of Carol's baby. Oh, hell no, I don't think he's Really? Not and Carol believes Tony's not the father of his wife's baby. I know my baby is his. She doesn't? Who knows what she knows? And the only thing Tony believes will be the two DNA test results. Tony. Oh. Tony. Oh. You'll never believe what happened. It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Tip. Welcome, Tip, to the show. Now, as you can see, from this photo, Tip seemed to have the perfect family with her husband, Tony. All of that was destroyed when Tony had an affair with this woman, Carol. Fast forward two years. Today, neither Tiff nor Carol are romantically involved with Tony. But both of them have children, and Tony doesn't believe he's the father of either one of them. There's Tiff's three-year-old son, Tony Jr., and Carol's 17-month-old daughter, Jasmine. Watch. When I met Tony 10 years ago, we fell in love fast. We were inseparable. We got married four years ago, and now we got two beautiful children together. Me and Tony, we made vows to one another, and he threw them all away like they meant nothing. I started to notice night after night, Tony was not coming home. Then I found out he cheated on me with Carol. 
Now Tony and his family members is going around saying our son Tony Jr. ain't his. Are you serious? I'm not the one that needs a DNA test for my baby, Carol is. Okay, first of all, is your marriage over or not? Yeah, our marriage been over. I've been not dealing with that bum. I've been not dealing with that bum. It's all about getting these results for my son. But you have two kids with him. Yeah, we got two kids. He don't deny my other daughter, only my son, because my son look like me. And how about, how about that other woman, Carol? You think she put stuff in his head? I believe she got something to do with it. Yeah, Mar, I really do believe she got something to do with it. I do. I do. He cheated on you with her? Yeah. He cheated on me with her. You think that he's the father of her baby? No, hell no, I don't think he's really? the father of her child. Hey, you know, you wasn't even there. You wasn't even there. Hell you wasn't no. the father of that baby. Are house? you serious? Hell no. You don't think your, your child no, and, and her child? No, neither one of my kids You're looks like her baby. Or him. Or You're any of his people. Neither. We've given him a paternity test for both these babies. Yeah. But mindset. guess what? Carol had something to say about I this. I figured she did. Time to pursue me while we were working together. Right away, we were talking about buying a car and getting an apartment together. And shortly after that, I got pregnant with his baby. I never knew he was married. Tiff had plenty of chances to tell me, and she never did. Tiff should know that Tony's the father of my baby. She should mind her own business and worry about her own. Tiff's son is much lighter than Tony, and I know she's been sleeping with other men. My baby Jasnik looks just like Tony, and I know he's the father. Too bad I can't say the same for Tiff's baby. Here's Carol, everybody. Can Welcome, you Carol, to the show. Over? Can I you am, I am. She never told me they was married. I talked to her plenty of times. Plenty of times. Plenty think, of times. And you think your baby looks like him? Think. I know my baby is his. I know what I do at night. I know where my stuff is at, so I know where mine's is at. I know that's his. And what you're saying is she doesn't? She don't, I don't know what she know. Who knows what she knows? When you told him you were pregnant, was he around? No, he wasn't around, but... So when she found out I was pregnant, that's when she so-called wanted to make their relationship work because she seen that Tony had the same amount of feelings that he had for her, for me, in a short amount of time that we were well. talking. That's why. That ain't what he told me. That ain't what he told me. Don't stand back there looking dumb. Yeah, don't stand back there looking dumb. You want to apologize to her at all? Apologize to her for what? I never knew nothing about he her. He was married to her. Knew. You oh, never knew. You never knew. You never knew. You never knew. Oh, they knew she was a bay mom. Oh, they this is what bay mom. Tony had, had to say what? Apologize for what? She need to get on these. I got two women telling me two different things, and I don't know what to believe. What I know is I have two babies involved, and I have doubts on the father of either. I know Tiff slept with other men. When Tony Jr. came out with light skin, I started thinking that the child wasn't mine. Tony Jr. also has a really big head. His forehead pokes out and mine is flat. I wasn't the best man to Tiff. I cheated on her with Carol and she got pregnant. Tiff's telling me Carol's baby ain't mine and Carol's telling me Tiff's baby ain't mine. I'm stuck in a war between two women. I need to know which one is lying. Oh, really? Here's Tony. Tony, come on out. You have an older daughter with Tiff. You love your daughter, right? Yeah. You're in your daughter's life. Yeah. How come you're not in that little boy's life? He don't look like me. You feel bad, though, for cheating on Tiff with Carol, don't you? Not really. It was no oh! cheating. It was no cheating. Cheat. How can you cheat with no relationship? How can you cheat with no relationship? Look at me and look exactly, at you, baby. baby. Look at me look and look at me. start parading around. Okay. I want to know this. Since you can be a father,
to a child, since you are a father to your older daughter, you will get in these kids' lives if you're the father. Right? Oh, yeah, if I'm the father, I'm going to get in the kids' lives. Well, then let's find out, all right? You should be able to do that. with either one of these women? No. You don't want to be with either one? Okay. <laughs> when it comes to three-year-old Tony Jr., Tony, you are the father. That's good. That's good because I know you're in your daughter's life and now you can be in her brother's life yeah. with the same thing. Yeah. When it comes to 17 month old Jasnique, Tony, you are not. Victoria almost died while giving birth. And she's furious that Juan wasn't there. Almost bled to death and he knew they wanted your blood. And that he's here with his girlfriend, Samantha. That ain't his baby, that is his baby. The situation will be resolved today. And what are you gonna do when you find out that's your baby? Juan, one way or another. The DNA results for all three men are coming up. Will Jade find the father of her baby today? In the case of 16-month-old Tori. You are the father. Get off my stage. <laughs> it's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Victoria. Welcome, Victoria. To the now, last year, Victoria was pregnant with her now two-month-old baby, Josiah. And she and her boyfriend, Juan, were planning their future together. Then, when Victoria told Juan she had to leave town because of a medical emergency, he shocked her by saying he was cutting all ties with her if she left. <laughs> and Victoria had no choice but to leave. So today, Juan has a new girlfriend named Samantha, who Victoria has never seen face to face. And they both deny Juan is baby Josiah's father. Here's what they had to say, by the way, it ain't Victoria. His baby. It is his baby. Victoria herself told me it was a 50-50 chance I could be the baby's father. There is nothing 50-50 about this baby. I see a big fat zero. Why only dated Victoria because we were on a break? Victoria needs to realize nobody can ever replace me and nobody ever will. I think she's still in love with one. It's pathetic. I was only with Victoria for a couple of months. I never saw a future with Victoria and I never will. If Juan says this isn't his baby, then it isn't his baby. Victoria can't even make up her mind on who the father of her baby is. After today, she'll have her answer. Wrong man. Back off. He looks like you, Juan. He looks just you think... like you. Look at that. <laughs> Why do you think he's doing that? Because that bitch. Oh, no, really? that ain't his baby. I don't see it. So you want Juan just to be in your child's life? That's it. I don't That's want nothing all. to do with him. 
Did he tell you that if you went home to your family that he would be gone? He cried when I left. He was bawling. You did too. Temporary, yo, mama. You was temporary. You was All temporary. Right. All right. Now, does he know the story about you giving birth? Does he know that he you died no on the clue. table, he on the doesn't. operating table? You died? So you want to you want to break the cycle in your family because you grew up without a father and you don't yeah, want that I happening. Yeah, I did, and he knows I did, and he did too. Why is he denying our son? Well, here's Juan and Samantha. Here they are. Everybody. This bitch. Samantha. I'm a good one. Juan is my business. Juan is my business. You just mad because you were temporary. You were temporary, little mama. Temporary. If you've never met Victoria, how are you so sure that Juan's not the father? I talked to her on the internet and I asked her, who, who was your baby? She told me. 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 I've never talked to her on the phone. So I talked to her through the computer or whatever. She didn't know I was with one. And I was like, you well, who's know. your baby daddy? She goes, oh, it belongs to my ex, 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 ex oh, boyfriend. Lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Why'd you delete your page? Why'd you delete your page then? Why? Why'd you break up with Victoria? Because I've never seen no future with Victoria. No, that's the reason why. <laughs> but if this is your child, but you you're going to have a future with that child, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll find out right now. I just like you. I see him every day, and I see you. In the case of two-month-old Josiah, Juan, this situation will be resolved next. Juan, one way or another. The DNA results for all three men are coming up. We're going to find out! Will Jade find the father of her baby today? In the case of 16-month-old Tori. It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Why do you think he's doing this? Because that bitch. Oh, no, really? that ain't his baby. I don't see it. It ain't his baby. He just don't it ain't my baby. You need to mind your own damn business. Why you not, bitch? So you want Juan just to be in your child's life? That's it. I don't want nothing to do with him. Victoria herself told me it was a 50-50 chance I could be the baby's father. There is nothing 50-50 about this baby. I see a big, fat zero. Juan only dated Victoria because we were on a break. Victoria needs to realize nobody can ever replace me and nobody ever will. After today, she'll have her answer. Wrong man. Back off. What are you going to do when you find out that's your baby? What do you want him to do? You said so. What you Guess who called the show, everybody? This bitch. Samantha. But if this is your child, but you you're going to have a future with that child, aren't you? Yes. In the case of two-month-old Josiah, Juan, you are the father. Oh, 
told me it was 50 50 no, chance that you're you, yes. you you told me to the doctors friend. with me one and they told you when I got pregnant. Looking at what you're missing on. He's a beautiful one. And I don't care if she's involved. That's fine. But you guys don't. <laughs> don't but I told take you that, that too, Victoria. I told you. It was his baby that me I and Juan were going to be was there. The DNA results for all three men are coming out next. We're going to find out! Will Jade find the father of her baby today? In the case of 16-month-old Tori. You are the father. Get off my stage! It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. Did you and John date? Me and John dated for two years. We knew each oh, other for five, but we dated for two that years. That ain't my baby. Keep playing this baby. Did you lay down with her? Yeah, go on, I hit it. Go. John, you are not. <laughs> now, Jade has returned with not one. Not two, but three other guys. Oh, well, yeah, maybe I slept with more than one guy and got pregnant, but I've got to deal with that. I'm doing this for my son, because my son deserves the best. He deserves everything. I'm Ebon. I'm the second guy being tested for Jay's baby, Jacoby. I'm Ebon's brother, and I'm the third man being tested. And, and today, today we're, we're hoping, hoping that, that neither, neither of us is, is the dad. dad. I'm Chris, and I'm the fourth man being tested for Jay's son, Jacoby. When I spoke to Jay, she told me I might be the father. The problem? She didn't tell me two other guys could be a possibility. If it's one, no. two, three, if it's one of y'all. Oh, 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 oh. In the case of 16-month-old Jacory Ebone, you are not. Sixteen-month-old Jacory D, you are not. In the case of sixteen-month-old Jacory Chris, you are not. Glad to help you. Oh, I can't even. Oh. You are a very strong woman. You are a great mom to your boy. All right? You're a great mom to your boy. And that's all you should care about. Will Jade give up her search or continue to try to find her baby's father? Oh, my God. The incredible answer is next. It's an hour of DNA results that are completely unexpected. And the drama starts right now. In the case of 16-month-old Jacory, you are not. Jay just found out the painful truth that none of the four men DNA tested so far are the father of her son, Jacory. Oh, I can't even. Oh. You are a very strong woman. You are a great mom to your boy. All right? After the show, Jade made an emotional plea for the father of her son to step forward. I just want to find my child's father, so if you know for a fact that you you was a puppet that night, just please help me. If you know what you did with me, just please call me or something. You know the number, just help me. Just, oh my God. Keep watching future shows to find out how Jade's emotional search continues. Until next time, America.